Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us for our 2021 Senior Awards Night. This is such a special evening in which we get a chance to celebrate all things that are good at Fort Vancouver High School Center for International Studies. The students that we will highlight tonight have uh, shown dedication and devotion to uh, not only their own growth, but also to our school. And we're very appreciative for the contributions they have made to uh, making our school better and to the improvement work. So tonight, I just welcome you all and thank you for uh, supporting your students and supporting each other as we try and navigate this very, very difficult time that it's been the last year and a half. Good things are on the horizon and these students through their efforts and growth and the things that they have accomplished will now go forward and make our world better each and every day. Thank you all for your attendance. Class of 2021, we did it. Not only did we get through high school, one of the most transformative phases of our lives, we did it while facing more adversity than ever. We are the class of unity, innovation, and adaptability. Last year during our junior year, an unfortunate sequence of events changed our everyday lives. It is March 13th that marks the date we've matured beyond our years. Our junior and senior year only had two constants, that everything was perpetually changing and that isolation would be the new normal. From a pandemic to protest to the presidential election, the fate of our world seemed inconceivable. But alas, we were still teenagers. We have lost a lot over the past 15 months. We have lost experiences such as prom, sporting events, homecoming, senior nights, color war, and so much more. We have lost more than that. Crucial things such as jobs, motivation, and most of all, hope. The little things that seemed insignificant became the things we yearned for the most. However, the things we have lost do not define us. What defines us is how far we've come with what we have. As my ASB teacher Owen Fraser says, what we got is all we need. Our students took this in stride. They found new ways of connecting with others, helping the community, and raising awareness for global issues. Through virtual parties, food drives, fundraisers, virtual spirit weeks, and social media campaigns, students have made the most out of what they had. So class of 2021, Take this experience and show the world what you can do because not even a global pandemic could hold you back. As you go on, whether to a higher education, the workforce, or the military, remember you are the change you want to see. You are the strength you need to power through and you are everything that you need. Congratulations, class of 2021. The President's Award for Academic Achievement, Best Effort in School. Often they face obstacles while learning. The first student is Maximum Fritas. Cecia Ratana. Jesus Reyes Ramirez. Edward Seacamp. The next award is President's Award for Academic Excellence. These students have a cumulative GPA of 3.3 and above. Nina Albrecht. Lauren Bailey. Michaela Bollinger. Madeline Bortolini. Ashton Bruce. Jackson Butterfield. Damien Sedena. Ashley Campuzano Valencia. Shane Carver. Catalina Chim. Ethan Clark. Samuel Crawford. Caden Desboni. Elizabeth Diaz Hernandez. Henry Doan. Anas Hassan. Jackson Hernandez. David Hong. Sierra Hollinsworth. Jamie Hoover. Anai Hoysos. Max Hunter. Darina Zvad. 
Giovanni Jameson. Medina Hazarovich. Taras Kanyevets. Melana Kurznashkaya. Haley Kreiner. Aryan Kumar. Tyson Lane. Anatoly Leondar. Isaac Luna Lopez. Nicholas Manning. Bernardo Melcher. Taylor Montgomery. Kevin Wynn. Peter Wynn. Chase O'Mara. Elizabeth Onofre Murillo. Giselle Ortega Villanueva. Khan Fan. Cesas Ratana. Ivan Reyes Perez. Maria Sanchez Moreno. Stephanie Santiago. Sarah Shadat Patterson. Noah Serrano Escalante. Mahela Smith. Jillian Snyder. Max Soraya Mejia. Taryn Sulenthone. Alicia Sparks. Aisha Samara. Miranda Sumner. Christina Tran. Tiffany Tran. Queen Trong. Jamie Ueda. Chloe Utrakel. Emily Von Meter. Sasha Vasilenko. Mohammed Wally. The next award is for Running Start students graduating with an AA degree. These students graduated from Clark. Nina Albrecht. Catalina Chim. Henry Duan. Jackson Hernandez. Jamie Hoover. Melana Kaya. Haley Kreiner. Annika Moggs. Sarah Shot Patterson. Shadman Shahazan. The winner for the Grimm Scholarship for $2,000 is Gerardo Melcher. The Vancouver Leaders for Social Change Award of $2,000, which is renewable up to $8,000 from Washington State University of Vancouver is Aisha Sumarai. And now, the most prestigious award for seniors that represent community, character, excellence, and equity, the Spirit of Fort Award this year goes to Samuel Crawford and, and, and Mahala Smith. Congratulations to Jake Juan Collins and Jillian Snyder for being the recipients of the U.S. Navy Distinguished Athlete Award. Congratulations to Henry Doan for being the recipient of the U.S. Navy Scholastic Excellence Award. And congratulations to Michaela Bollinger for being the recipient of the U.S. Navy Award for Musical Excellence. Go Navy! Lorenzo. It is with great honor that I present you with the Outstanding Visual Artist Award of the Year. Your talent is so amazing and so 
so far beyond your years that I look forward to seeing what you do in the future. I've kept examples of your work. I'll be able to show it to my students. Your vision and your skill is just incredible. And I wish you success with your lifelong journey and I'm excited to see where it takes you. Hi, my name is Dean Dickinson and this is Michael Wade and we're here to announce the 2021 Outstanding Achievement Award in Digital Arts and that award goes to Caden uh, Desimone. Um, Michael had some words he wanted to share about Caden's success in the world of digital media. Normally when I present an award like this, it's to a student that's been in my classroom for multiple years. So uh, not only has Caden just been in um, my computer coding class for one year, but it's been a year that's been through um, computer monitors and face masks. And uh, so it's been uh, harder for a student to stand out, uh, but uh, that hasn't stopped Caden. Um, in a year where many had struggled, including myself, uh, Caden has thrived. Um, he has been in the beginning computer uh, coding section, yet he's far outpaced um, the students in the advanced class. Um, it's been a joy to watch him um, contact the, those that wrote the, the curriculum for the coding class and explain where they made mistakes. Um, they haven't liked his constructive criticism, but they've received it because he's been right. Um, so it's... Um, he often stays after school, lingers, and, uh, and engages in adult-level conversations. He's been very excited about touring the different college campuses. Uh, in some places he's had full-ride scholarships, and uh, I'm, I'm excited, we're excited for Caden with, as he goes on to Purdue in, um, uh, to learn more about computer engineering. And uh, um, Caden, you are intelligent, you are responsible, and you are an inspiring young man and we are very excited to give you this award. So to piggyback off that, uh, again, myself, I haven't really um, interacted with Caden beyond this year, but in Photo 1, Photo 2, I've seen him find his own creativity, his own style in the world of post-production photo editing, and just um, showcase a number of leadership, communication, and collaboration skills that I know is going to benefit him beyond the high school doors. And we're just really excited to see what he does with himself and the future to come. So again, congratulations, and we're really happy for you. Congratulations, Kate. Hey everybody, I'm Orion Ludlow. I'm a video production teacher here at Fort, and our other Digital Arts Senior Award this year goes to Braden Stokes. Braden is somebody who, when I started here in the middle of his sophomore year, uh, he was an incredible help to me. If it hadn't have been for Braden, I would have been in a world of hurt. Uh, Braden was our in-house expert with a lot of the things that we do to, uh, and that we need and that we use to put on the Fort Report. So Braden, thank you for all your help. Uh, I know this year has been the pits, but uh, if it hadn't been for you the last few years, um, there probably wouldn't have been a Fort Report to put out. So I hope you have a happy and successful life. Rock on. Hello, my name is Keith Norris. I'm the band director at Fort Vancouver High School Center for International Studies. I'm here to uh, share some awards for this end of the year presentation, 2021. First award I'd like to share uh, is an honor uh, that is awarded annually by one of the branches of the Armed Forces to an outstanding bandsman. Um, this award uh, specifically stipulates fine academic achievement as well as strong musicianship. Um, this year's award is being presented by the United States Navy. And this award is being presented to Michaela Bollinger, a student I've had since the sixth grade at McLaughlin Middle School, and she's been active in the band for seven years at middle school and high school. So congratulations, Michaela. You've earned it. Good work. Um, another award I'd like to share is the Outstanding Performing Arts Student Award for 2021. This award is uh, selected from band, orchestra, choir, and theater, 
and the person that receives this award is uh, agreed upon by all those teachers. Um, and so the student can come from any of those classes. Um, the student I've selected for this award this year, or the student we have all selected for this award this year, uh, was active in starting the mariachi band here at Fort Vancouver High School two years ago, and also has worked hard to um, arrange special musical celebrations for the uh, Veterans Day Assembly in 2019. And uh, has an unassuming personality, but works very hard and always gets the job done and has a, uh, an active creative mind um, that he doesn't share often but he's quite good at um, all types of different forms of music, jazz, pop, mariachi. The award goes to Ian Bonilla Lechuga. Congratulations, Ian, you've earned it. Good luck. The final award I'd like to talk about tonight is the Outstanding Bandsman at Fort Vancouver High School. Uh, this award is awarded to the Outstanding Band Musician. Uh, it's picked by, selected by me, uh, and it goes to a person who I can consider earns that top position. Um, this year's award goes to someone who's also been active in music for seven years uh, since middle school, and this person was my drum major for this year and has always been active as a clarinet as a first clarinet player, clarinet soloist, um, a fine musician and a wonderful person, been a great citizen in the band. Um, I'd like to give this award to um, Gerardo Melcor. Gerardo, you deserve this award and I'm proud to hand it to you. Congratulations. To all three of you, congratulations to finishing high school 2021. And uh, I hope the very best for you and your future in college and in your life. And let music continue to reward you throughout your life. Thank you. Hey, my name is Ben Jados. I'm a English teacher here at Fort Vancouver. And it's my honor to give out the senior award for uh, high achievement in English language arts to a senior who's demonstrated uh, excellent writing ability, a uh, very deep and profound work ethic, um, someone who is passionate about, about both write, writing and reading, and, uh, and who has just stayed on top of things all year long. This year's Senior Award for English Language Arts goes to Emily Van Meter. Emily, congratulations. My uh, senior award this year uh, goes to Chase O'Meara. Uh, Chase, you've been like a shot foreman here for the last couple of years, and I know you got great things ahead of you. Think about going into the service, and uh, I know you're working on getting your uh, or uh, working for a few different metal fab shops here in town. And uh, I wish nothing but the best, man. I've loved having you in the class for the past uh, couple of years, and I know you got great things ahead. This year, the ELL Department Award goes to senior Khan Fan. Here are what some of Khan's teachers had to say about her. Khan has excelled in her ELL class this year. She's a motivated student who is always curious about language. She works well with all of her classmates and it always engages her partners by sharing her ideas. Khan not only wants to earn a good grade, but she has a strong desire to improve her English skills. I know her ability to ask good questions will continue to serve her well in the future. Another teacher says, Khan was a treasure to work with. Always ready, always asking questions if something is not clear, always eager to learn, always doing her best to make her, her work her be the best quality, always punctual and responsible, always polite and respectful. She for sure has left a lasting impression with her teachers. And I completely agree with all of that, Khan. You have been an amazing student to work with. Um, your advocacy for your own learning and for others has been an asset to our entire school. So 
thank you for all that you have done for us and we wish you all the best in the years to come. Hi there, I am Tori Hebert. I am the horticulture teacher here at Fort Vancouver High School Center for International Studies. And I would like to award Elizabeth Rosales Martinez and Lizbeth Rosales Martinez with the CTE um, Horticulture um, Senior Award. And this award is for these gals who've been in my class a while now. Um, you know, I think I've had them for two, three years. You girls will have to correct me on that. You know how bad my memory is. They know all of my quirks. Um, <laughs> they're used to all the funny things that I do because they've hung out a lot with me over the years. Um, I've really, really enjoyed uh, you, Elizabeth and um, Lizbeth. Um, you girls have a great work ethic. Um, you've been my little sidekicks in lots of hands-on projects that we've done, you know, whether it's transplanting or planting or weeding or you know, whatever it is that we've done, you've always been game for it. You've always done it really well. Um, you know, follow directions and follow through and ask questions about things you don't understand. And you just really are stellar, stellar horticulture students that I've just enjoyed working with so much. Um, I think you guys are gonna do great things in life. I think anybody would enjoy having you work for them. Um, I know that I would and I have. Um, so I really appreciate the two of you. I appreciate everything that you've um, brought to horticulture, all of your contributions through your um, hard work um, and um, your ideas, um, your energy. I really, really appreciate you girls. So um, it is with my great honor um, that I present to you the CTE Horticulture Senior Awards to Elizabeth Rosales Martinez and Elizabeth Rosales Martinez. Thank you. Hi, my name is Luana Parno, and I'm a math teacher at Fort Vancouver High School. And um, it is my pleasure to present um, a math award. I have two students in mind. The first student I met several years ago um, in pre-calculus. And this student came into my class, and every single day they performed at this level that um, you don't see very often. Um, they're always prepared. They always had questions ahead of time from the work that was assigned or the practice that was assigned that day. And um, they would just come into class and they would wait patiently until it was their turn to, um, until there was time to go over the questions. And um, I don't know, there's just so many qualities that this person has as far as being able to communicate with others and has a phenomenal critical thinking skills um, and very creative in their approach to learning and um, just like life. They like to have fun and enjoy uh, surroundings. Um, but it's my pleasure to give a Senior Math Award to Mahala Smith. Congratulations, Mahala, and um, you're gonna be an awesome physicist. Hello, I'm Mr. Swilly. I teach geometry and algebra at Fort Vancouver High Center for International Studies. I'm also a math engineering science teacher in which the purpose is to expose underrepresented communities to STEM related fields of study, such as mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, uh, and computer programming. I am speaking to you today to announce an award for a senior who has excelled here at math. I first met the student in my geometry class where I also teach a MESA component a couple of times a month. I noticed this student worked very hard and never would give up on geometry problems that she did not understand. Perseverance is one of the eight mathematical practices that we try and teach in our classroom. This person had it. Working on her human-centered design project in Mesa is where I noticed she enjoyed writing and debugging code. She later went to a robotic summer camp and has declared a major in computer and information science. She has become a leader here at Fort Vancouver High School, where she is the president of the Black Student Union. 
where she has organized a series of meetings with black STEM professionals for other students to learn about careers and coding and engineering. It is for these reasons that I am very pleased to announce that Aisha Samara is a recipient of a math award here at Fort Vancouver High School Center for International Studies. Hello to all. I am Mrs. Hollenbeck. I'm one of the PE teachers here at Fort Vancouver, and I am here to announce the outstanding PE students for the year of 2021. Um, these students we have had in class, whether it be my class, um, Mr. Wilson has had them, uh, Mr. Blastic or Ms. Fay, we've all had interactions and we all decided on these two students to be the outstanding students this year. So. We have Jackson Butterfield and Jaquan Collins. Congratulations, you guys. Um, Mr. Wilson and I kind of put together a little thing uh, explaining why we felt like you guys definitely deserve this award. Uh, we will start with Jackson Butterfield. Jackson has been in weight training each year with Mr. Wilson. This year he was in my PE class as well. He always goes the extra mile and helps other people in class when possible. He played baseball at four, all four years, and he has signed to play baseball next year at Green River College. So awesome job, Jackson. Thank you for being a great student. In our PE classes, you'll definitely be missed in the next year. Uh, Jaquan Collins, he transferred into Fort last year, I believe maybe the year before. Um, he was in weight training with Mr. Wilson. This year he played football, he did wrestling, and he ran track. He always plays really hard in games. He has great sportsmanship, but he's always under control, and other kids consider him to be the standard of excellence in our PE classes. Uh, we really appreciate you guys and all that you've done. Again, we will definitely miss you guys next year. Congratulations. Hello, this is Elizabeth Prager, history teacher. I am here today to acknowledge Caden Desimone for the Social Studies Department Achievement Award. We in the History Department would like to take note of Caden's ability to just be a great student and an all around amazing person. Caden takes the time to go in and visit with Mr. Stoda and talk about things related to comparative government, often because he's just interested, not because he has to know the information for the exam. Caden's a great thinker. And he's going to be able to use those thinking skills when he goes to Purdue University and majors in engineering. We know that Caden is going to be a wonderful engineer because he has those habits of mind, the ability to think critically about the world around him. Caden, you have impressed us in the history department. We thank you for your time here at Fort and congratulate you on your achievements in social studies. Best wishes. And I am here to acknowledge the Social Studies Department Award winner, Mahela Smith. Mahela is a wonderful young person. It's been a pleasure to teach Mahela, and Mr. Stoda also has many wonderful things to say about Mahela's performance in his course this year. In a set of challenging circumstances of remote learning, Mahela has managed to stay engaged in the learning environment and also make a difference at Fort. Mahela is not afraid to challenge the ideas of her classmates and to push their thinking. And in fact, she's also pushed the thinking of the teachers at Fort. When she spoke to the entire staff and challenged us to include tough issues like race and racism in our learning experiences. Mahela, we thank you for the impact you've made at your time at Fort, and we hope the best for you in the future. Congratulations. My dear Nina, Este pequeño mensaje es para agradecerte el hecho de que hayas sido mi alumna. Ha sido un privilegio enseñarte y te deseo un futuro brillante. Sé que lo tendrás. Con mucho cariño y con mucho agradecimiento, Mrs. A. Hello, Fort Trappers. As some of you may know, I am Jason Galvis, a 20-year veteran in the science department at Fort Vancouver High School. On behalf of our department, it is my extreme pleasure to nominate Taylor Montgomery as one of the recipients for our Disciplines Academic Achievement Award. I have known Taylor for many years since his enrollment at our school when he attended my biology course as a sophomore student. Currently, as a graduating senior, 
Taylor is taking my rigorous upper division zoology course. Thusly, I consider myself quite familiar with this very capable, respectful, and dedicated young man. Taylor has long demonstrated an interest in academics. He is a motivated student, attending class regularly with few absences. Taylor comes to class ready to learn, prepared to engage fully in the learning experience, actively participating in class discussions. He asks insightful questions as well. It is clear to me that he has an intellectual curiosity that I find both rewarding and exciting as a science educator. There is no doubt in my mind that Taylor enjoys learning for the sake of learning and broadening his own mental horizons. Additionally, Taylor always submits work on time, often completing assignments well ahead of deadlines. He definitely does not shirk his academic responsibilities. Furthermore, Taylor is a polite and determined young man, possessing great integrity and exemplary character. As a student, he has earned my profound respect for his very pleasant demeanor, staunch work ethic, and good heart. Without a doubt, he is one of the finest students to have attended our high school. It has been my complete pleasure to have known him and serve as his science mentor. With that all being said, it gives me great pleasure to grant Taylor this award for his outstanding academic achievement. Thank you. Hello, I'm Ms. Emanuel, and I'm representing the Fort Science Department in recognizing Aisha Sumare, who is receiving one of this year's Science Achievement Awards. While all of my interactions with Aisha have been virtual this year, I do remember catching glimpses of her last year as she worked diligently in Ms. Kazarian's AP Chemistry class. We chose Aisha for this award because of the hard work she demonstrated in all of her science classes, but particularly in physics this year. She has a natural inquisitiveness about all things physics that certainly helps, but her determination is what stands out. I can tell you that physics is hard enough when you can do all of the hands-on and the group activities that we would normally do, but this year has been anything but normal. Aisha has shown herself to be a self-starter and a finisher. As a result, she became my best physics student this year. It is with great pleasure that we honor Aisha with this achievement award. Thank you. I am proud to present this National Honor Society Award to Dina Albrecht, this year's NHS co-president. Dina has been the perfect leader for a challenging year. She has been consistent, dependable, creative, and enthusiastic about her role in helping National Honor Society members build relationships develop character, serve their community, and meet academic goals. I have appreciated her encouragement, grace, and thoughtful communications. When I know Nina is in charge, I'm able to have the same confidence in her leadership as I would another adult. Her growth through the NHS experience has been a joy to watch, and I look forward to seeing the amazing things she chooses to do in her life. Congratulations. I am proud to present this National Honor Society Award to Christina Tran, this year's NHS Secretary. Christina has served in a position that requires a great deal of consistent record keeping, which has been especially challenging this year. Not only has she had to keep track of records, but she's had to communicate with other members about how and when to submit records. I have appreciated her positive attitude as she is always willing and ready to meet challenges with a smile. I know this experience will broaden her already impressive interpersonal skills. Thank you for your hard work this year, Christina, and congratulations. Hello graduates and families, my name is Colleen Dunnigan and I am the Medical Magnet Coordinator here at Fort Vancouver High School and I am presenting this year's Medical Magnet Senior Award. This year's award goes to senior Emily Van Meter. Emily has been with the program since her freshman year and has consistently demonstrated to us what excellence looks like. Emily has always been a hardworking student, a good friend, helpful and compassionate classmate, and an all-around amazing human. What the Magnet team felt made Emily stand out over some of our many other wonderful students is that through thick and thin, Emily has been a very determined and dependable student. She, like everyone, has had a considerable amount of responsibilities on her plate, and yet she was persistently in class and in Zoom, always completed her work on time, and even found time to help her fellow classmates with their work. Long story short, Emily set her goals and stuck to them. Emily. Your compassion, your energy, your dedication to be and do your best at whatever comes your way is already what makes you a successful adult. It has been an honor to follow your journey these last four years, and the Magnet team and I look forward to hearing all about your future accomplishments. 
Congratulations. Hello everyone, I'm James Cedarstrom. I teach AVID 12 biology and coach tennis here at Fort. I have the honor and privilege of presenting the Perseverance Award. Now, when the nominations very first came out and I saw that award, uh, I immediately thought of one person. Um, and one person that I just truly felt was deserving of this award. But as I, I, I thought about it longer and, and could really consider it after I immediately sent in, sent in the name of, my, of who I was recommending, um, I really thought about it and I, I thought about all our kids and you know and and, and how, how our, our students here at Ford um, have, have persevered through so many challenges especially this year um, with everything going on um, and so so many kids and I know so many students who would be deserving of this award um, however the reason why I uh, originally thought about this person was if you really didn't know them and you, you didn't know their their their, their real story and, and, and what they've, they've gone through and um, some of the, some of the struggles, then you would have no clue. <laughs> you would just think, "Wow, this is just another outstanding student and person we have here at Fort." Um, and this is why I uh, privilege to, um, you know, present this award to Milana Kerna. Um, Milana Kerna is just. She's in my AVID 12 class, has been, has been there since her, her freshman year and has just been an outstanding student, uh, an outstanding person. Um, currently she's uh, doing Running Start and she's going to finish with her associate's degree at Clark, um, go to WSUV in the fall, um, manages the tennis team, just impeccable. I'm not sure what uh, we would do without her. Um, varsity tennis, National Honor Society, just all those things, um, but but most of all, just been a, just an amazing person, uh, amazing friend, um, just always putting in that extra effort and and, and everything, in spite of uh, the struggles and other things that's going on with herself, you you just wouldn't know, and it's just it's been an absolute privilege to have uh, Milana in class. Uh, since freshman year and, and, know, and know the person she is and um, Fort Vancouver is, has truly been a better place over the last four years because Milana has been part of it and uh, so Milana congratulations and just thank you for everything. I am honored to be able to present this award for perseverance. I met the students just a few short weeks ago when they arrived in my chemistry class after moving from another state. When I spoke with them about their prior chemistry course, it became apparent that their previous curriculum did not parallel the standards for this course, which meant they had not learned any of the material we had covered during this year. I explained to them that I created an alternate path for students who missed a lot of instruction, which included access to all of the instructional videos for each unit, along with one assignment for each unit and one lab report. The topics covered the whole school year and they would have to work really hard to cover it all. I asked if they thought this was a realistic goal and they said yes. Well, not only did they learn the entire year of chemistry in eight weeks, they also wrote one of the best lab reports I've read all year from reading the instructions and joined their classmates to complete the last unit of the year. I am so impressed with their work ethic and desire to meet challenging goals in an even more challenging environment. I am positive that they will be very successful in their future endeavors. Congratulations, Jaden Peterson. Hello seniors, I hope all is going well. Today, I'm going to present the Male Outstanding Athlete of the Year in the class of 2021, and that will be presented to Sam Crawford. Congratulations, Sam. The Female Outstanding Athlete of the Year Award goes to Nina Albright. Congratulations. This year, we had three Gary Bogg Award recipients, which means they played for three sports for four years, so the 12, a total of 12 sports over the time they're here in high school. Those winners are Jillian Snyder, Nina Albright, and Gloria Winner. Congratulations, ladies. You deserve this. I am proud to present the names of the seniors who will be graduating as National Honor Society members this year. These members have been required to regularly attend meetings and events, complete 20 hours of community service, maintain a 3.5 GPA, and demonstrate character, all of which were made more difficult in this challenging year. Nina Albright, NHS Co-President. 
Michaela Bollinger, Catalina Kim, Ethan Clark, NHS Treasurer, Henry Doan, Milana Kerna, Peter Wen, Giselle Ortega Villanueva, Max Soria Mejia, Jillian Snyder, Aisha Samare, and Christina Tran, NHS Secretary. Congratulations to you all.